May my words be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Today, the second Sunday of Easter, we reflect on the words of the Collect. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. This Sunday is also called Low Sunday. After the High Festival of Easter, we come back to the day-to-day -day reality of our lives, but we also go forward. We ask God's help to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness. We seek to transform like the leaven, change as dough into bread, to serve God in pureness of living and truth, as Christ did us in his life and earth, and through his resurrection for our justification, the act of sacrifice and atonement for us all. In the Gospel reading, we learn how this atonement is for us all, how Jesus can unlock any door, any heart, how he can be with us and offer us peace and grace if we are alone, frightened or troubled, and many of us have anxieties right now about ourselves or people we know and love. Jesus appears to his disciples when they are hiding behind locked doors for fear of the Jewish leaders. These disciples are transformed through the gift of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus returns a second time, he offers the same gift of grace to Thomas, a disciple who refuses to take the words of his friends for truth and who needs to have a first-hand encounter with Jesus. The encounter Jesus has with Thomas is an important one because it paves the way for all of us who have doubts and fears, who need reassurance and comfort. Jesus says to us all, who were not in that room with the disciples, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. We are offered the same blessing as the first disciples. Our lives can also be transformed if we believe. Even before this transformation, something special is offered to us which will sustain and comfort us always before the lives of the disciples are transformed jesus gives them all an important message which he repeats throughout his encounters with them all it is a preface to all actions jesus came and stood among them and said peace be with you again jesus said peace be with you though the doors were locked Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Jesus, therefore, first of all, offers us peace. A special peace that comes from our Almighty Father, who loves us all and keeps us in his tender care, now and always. Amen. <laughs>